Welcome everyone, a very good afternoon to you. I bless you in the name of our Lord and Saviour. Today I would like to just speak a few words to about blessing the Lord. I will bless the Lord. The psalmist begins in Psalm 34 verse 1. I will bless. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He will make a boast in the Lord. So let us read from the Amplified Version of the Bible. I will, and the words I will are in capital letters. Bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So David the psalmist, he made a um, conscious decision to bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in his mouth. So the psalmist David, he was going to bless the Lord in the good times, in the bad times, in the in-between times always hallelujah regardless of his circumstances he would have a song in his heart he would have some worship in his mouth he would have some praise because he would be thinking of the lovely king of kings and lord of lords how beautiful he is how wonderful he is how powerful he is how excellent he is and he always had something to boast about the lord because we don't boast in ourselves because all our help comes from the Lord. So we will make a definite decision to boast in the Lord because some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God, our wonderful Lord, our wonderful Savior, our wonderful provider, our wonderful healer, and we will make a decision to bless him at all times. Whether it's going well in your finances, whether it's going well in your marriage, whether it's going well with your children, because the just shall walk by faith. We walk by faith not by sight. So we will bless God at all times because God is good and he is good to all people and all things. He never fails. He is beautiful for every situation and in his presence there's the fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. So I want to encourage you today, despite what you're going through, make a decision to praise the Lord, to exalt his name, give him honor, give him glory. So the psalmist goes on in Psalm 34 verse 2. My life makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad. What are you going to boast about the Lord? We're going to boast about him because he is our savior. He is our Lord. He has healed us. He has saved us. He has set us free. And he who the son sets free is free indeed. He has woken us up to see another wonderful day, another precious day. Praise God. So despite what you're going through, you will always have more things to give praise and thanks for. Praise the name of Jesus. We give God honor and we give God glory because we must not give the devil any room. We must exalt God. Hallelujah. Boast about his bigness. Make him bigger. Make him greater because he is greater than greatest. He is better than best. He is beautiful for every situation and he must be exalted. He must be loved. He must be appreciated. So we will magnify the Lord at all times. We will not magnify our problems. Hallelujah. Because that's giving glory to the devil who only comes to steal, kill and destroy. So I encourage you to bless the Lord. I encourage you to worship him in the beautiful, in the beauty of holiness, despite what you're going through. Because you know what? God inhabits the praises of his people. Therefore, the devil inhabits the complaining of God's people. And lots of them were destroyed in the wilderness. Praise God. Because they murmured and they had to be destroyed. Hallelujah. But that's not going to be our portion. Because we are going to be people of praises. People who worship God in spirit and in truth. We worship him in the good times, in the bad times, despite how we feel feel because when when you begin to um, magnify God to worship him think about his goodness think about his loveliness think about his loyalty think about his faithfulness praise the name of Jesus you cannot help but get happy because the joy of the Lord is our strength praise God and in God's presence there's the fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore so you can praise the devil you, well, you're praising God, but you can praise the devil away from your life, away from your finances, away from your children, praise God, away from your mind. And you will be full of joy because you're focusing on God and his goodness because the devil in the devil inhabits the complaining of God's people, but God inhabits the praises of his people. So we're going to lift him up in praise because he is wonderful. He is powerful. Even when an evil spirit had come upon Saul because the, the um. 
the Spirit of God had departed upon him because of his disobedience and God had taken their um, kingdom away from him. Praise the name of Jesus. When David, the anointed um, servant of God, when he would play the harp, the evil spirit would have to disappear from Saul and he would have peace because God is the Prince of Peace. And I'm here to tell you, despite what you're going through, praise God. Worship him in the beauty of holiness. Begin to smile. Lift him up. Look back in your life and see what God has done for you. And you will realize that he has done great things for you. Like David was able to say before he um, killed Goliath, you know, um, Saul was going to give him his armor to put on. But David knew that he had to use his own armor. He hadn't used um, Saul's armor and he had proved um, the armor that God had given him when, when he killed the bear and a lion with his hands. Praise the name of Jesus. And who is this uncircumcised Philistine defying the armies of the living God? Hallelujah. And he used this armor. Praise God. The armor God had provided him. And he was able to slay Goliath with, with a sling and one stone. Praise God. And God has such a wonderful sense of humor. He has such a great sense of humor that he was even able to cut off Goliath's head with his own um, sword. So continue to praise God. Be continue to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and magnify God and he will exalt you in due time. Because we serve a faithful God. We serve a loyal God. We serve a loving God. The God who can never fail. You stand up for Jesus and he will stand up for you. If God be for us, who, who can be against us? And we can confidently say as believers, sin God be for us who can be against us because nothing shall separate us from the love of God hallelujah so I will close with this last verse Psalm 34 verse 3 and I'm reading from the amplified version of the Bible oh magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together so magnify him with me make a boast in the Lord hallelujah Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Be encouraged. Keep a smile on your face and keep praising God despite what happens. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.